Hello coaches, thanks for joining me for another week, another breakdown. This week we're going to talk about Eric Ten Hag's training sessions. We're going to take a look at some of the work he's done with Ajax, some of the principles around the sessions that he's working in, some of the exercises. If you like it, please give it a subscribe below so you don't miss any of the future content. Also, if you enjoy these training sessions, they are available for free on the link below. Free download on the website, free, free, free PDF. Click below to get your free PDF of all these exercises. Also, massive thanks to our sponsors for this keyframe. If you're looking for a way to get the most out of your video when you're working with players, Keyframe improves understanding, aids retention, saves time. Simple to use, fast to learn. There's also a link below and it's affordable. Please check out the link below. Big thanks to Keyframe. Let's talk about Eric Ten Hag. All right, first off, let's take a quick look and a brief outline at his training philosophy. Wants to have possession wants to hurt the opponent, but it's not about the possession. We've heard that before on these videos. It's about movement. In this case, it's about vertical attacking patterns. And this is the most interesting thing, I think, playing into the middle to make room for the fallback. So if I'm looking at how a coach that has this philosophy puts it onto the practice pitch, I'm thinking you have to be able to play through pressure. So that's something that we're going to see in these videos, in these exercises. Let's take a look. Quick outline of the objectives, fast ball circulation, quick combination play, when you lose it or when you win it back. Very, very intense with those transitions. And then the last one, and I think it's the most important one, being comfortable playing through pressure as opposed to around it, playing through it. All right, first game, 4v4 plus three, split the press. 11 players organized into two teams of four, one team of three, neutral team that's going to work on getting the ball across the playing area, possession team looking to circulate possession, create an opportunity where they can split the press in the middle, press and team are looking to win the ball back immediately, if the defensive team win the ball, they're looking to play to one of the three neutrals and then receive it back to score in one of the many goals. Scoring system can be something like eight consecutive passes and awarded one point if you complete that game. Keeps moving fast and those transitions are intense. All right, the next one, 10v3. Go around or go through. And we said before about getting used to playing through teams. So 13 players, one team of 10, one team of three defending. Mini goal at each side of the playing area. The possession team in red are trying to circulate possession around in order to get an opportunity where they can split the press with those two players in the middle. Pressing team in blue are looking to win the ball back immediately. If they do win the ball back, they can score in either of the mini goals for two points. For every eight consecutive passes, the red team are awarded one point. Hello coaches, we'll take a quick break here before we finish off the sessions. Please check out our sponsors, Keyframe. Telestration software can help make your players better. It's easy to use, I use it myself, and it's very, very affordable. Here's a quick clip to show what it's about. All right, let's finish off the sessions. Don't forget, you can download the PDF below to get all these exercises for free. Let's go. All right, this one is a 9v5 build and then unbalanced. So again, manipulating that central space. 14 players total, organized in a possession team of nine, defensive team of five. Possession team are looking to circulate the ball and transfer it from one side to the other. Those outside players 
If the defensive team win the ball, they can score in any of the many goals for two points. So again, you can award the team circulating possession for a point for a transfer or for a certain number of passes. The game always continues for a successful transfer. They're awarded a point. If the blue team win the ball back, the game continues with a transition, trying to score in one of those outside goals. Again, very, very fast, very, very intense. This one is a 6v2, 8 players total, possession team of 6, defensive team of 2, again playing through the middle, so not just a typical rondo, this time the team with 6 players, the red team in possession, are looking to split the defensive team through those triangle area in the middle, those 3 poles, little triangle, if the blue team win the ball back you just restart it, quick restarts from the coach, for every successful transfer, Red team are awarded one point. So you can just play 60 second games, two minute games, change the two players on the inside, keep rotating them so the game moves quick, it's fast tempoed. Okay, last game, 5v2 transition game. So two teams of five, 10 players total, one stay on one end, one stay on the other. On the coach's signal, you start in a 5v2 and one square. Two defenders can go. If the possession team win the ball, then after a certain amount of time, they can score in any of the many goals, maybe five, six passes. If the defensive team win the ball, they circulate it back to their team, and then the exercise moves the other way. Two defenders go. Those two defenders from that team go back in, so it's a 5v2. Keeps moving, very, very intense, and you can score with a set number of passes. All right, coaches, that's it. Five practices from Eric Ten Hag. Great example of his work at Ajax. I'm sure we'll see some of that work at Manchester United as well. Thanks so much for supporting. Don't forget to check out the PDF link below if you want to get a copy of these exercises for yourself. When you're on the website, why not check out the MSC 20 Attack and Training Sessions ebook that we've just put out. Please also check out Keyframe. And please, before you go today, please subscribe, give it a like, support the work. Thank you so much. We'll see you soon.